Don't you just love hypocrites? I mean, really, hypo hypocritic people are one of the most loveliest, most beautiful people in the world. And a great example of really beautiful hypocrites is Miss Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Here she is. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. She's wearing a dress that says tax the rich right on her buttocks. <laughs> and the the, the T-H-E is right on her butt cheeks. Just paf right there. Okay, look. Look, let's, let's get something straight. Let's get something straight. Like, how is it? This is how you know. This is how you know that Alexandria Ocasio Cortez has a low IQ. This is very low IQ, very low intelligence because she comes from a middle class family. She's spoiled. Okay, she's spoiled. She's Latina. She's spoiled. And one of the reasons why she won the you know the election in New York, became a congresswoman, is because is because. Um, it's because she's a minority. She's Latina and people thought, oh, a Latina. Yeah, she's definitely going to do great things for us. But, but like when Amazon try to open, you know, try to open a, a, a factory, a station in New York, she said, no, 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 don't do it. Like we cannot have Amazon come to this area because then they're going to increase your rent. And then, and then basically New York lost 25,000 jobs. <sighs> Look at the hypocrisy here. She's saying tax the rich. She makes money from her politics, from her political movement. And do you, do you really think she's going to tax herself? And she's at this, she's at this event where she spent $35,000. Says, indeed, for the 2021 Met Gala, individual tickets were $35,000. And tables started at $200,000. Don't act like you want to get taxed, honey. Don't. All right, so let's... We're at the New York Post. We are at the New York Post. Says AOC tax the rich dress to Met Gala. Congresswoman Alexandria Castro Cortez, who is the face of Dem Democratic Socialists of America, showed uh, showed up to uh, greet Team Met Gaia, wearing a political message seemingly aimed at her fellow party goers. Uh, AOC wore a white gown. Da -da 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 -da, says the 31 year old rep who is who is darling of the far left could have found a more receptive audience for her sartorial st uh, statement at a workers rally. At a workers' rally. <laughs> Look, guys, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, she is a low IQ politician. She got elected because she's a minority, quote unquote, you know, by Latinas, by, by, by mainly, mainly by the Hispanic uh, crowd. And she she does not have your best interests at heart. I mean, t t take a look at all these people in, in office. You know, it's like she's benefiting. She benefits from capitalism, but she preaches socialism. And she, she's basically what is called a champagne socialist, where like she has all this money, but you don't see her. You don't see her being, you know, you know, doing charities. There's rich people that do real freaking charities like like Bill Gates. Bill Gates has had he gives millions, billions of dollars away. You know, when I was going to college, he was giving what, hundreds of thousands of dollars to my college right here in Connecticut. Bill Gates, you know. People on the right are actually more given than these so-called socialists. Realize that people that are socialists, they, they don't give anything like they speak on your behalf. But materialistically, materialistically and financially, they never give you anything. As a matter of fact, they give you the least this, this is how spoiled they are. They want to live a rich and lavish lifestyle, but at the same time, they want to pretend like they care about poor people, saying, oh, yeah, tax the rich, tax the rich. It's not fair. You are rich. You are rich. It, it, it's, it's not like she's going to, if she's making a million dollars a year, she's not going to want to get taxed 50% or 60% like, like Joe Biden claims, that, like Joe Biden is claiming that, that he, you know, that he that he wants for America. These socialists are too greedy. They are the real greedy ones. They are the real ones that they are the ones that are taking opportunities away from people. Do you not understand? 
Then it says, we can never get too comfortable in our seats at the table <laughs> once they've been given James. James, founder of the creative director. We must always continue to push. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Right, and then if you go to her Twitter account, it says, the medium <laughs> is the message. <laughs> uh, and then she got a message here. Proud to work with... Okay, you know what? I'm not even going to bother with this freaking message. It's just total hypocrisy. And then if you go if you go on her comment section, it says tax the rich at a rich person Gaia, which tickets cost thirty thousand. All right. <laughs> oh. It says you are the rich you want to tax. <laughs> oh. It says AOC, you just spent someone's entire yearly salary in one night. Not even not even counting the price of the of that dress. You are the rich. You see, th this is this is how low IQ. See, these the reason why how the heck these people get elected. These people get elected with a low level of intelligence. People talk shit about like, you know, Donald Trump, Orange Man bad and all that shit. But Trump, he he did a lot of great things for America, economically, especially economically, because he is an entrepreneur and understands economics. Okay, and I'm, I'm I mean I'm not necessarily a Trump uh, a lover of Trump and all that, but you, you gotta look at the you gotta look at the realism here. And people defend this woman for the simple fact that she's a woman in politics, not because she's smart, not because she's doing great things. She says she says great things, just just like any just like any socialism. Okay, she says beautiful things like, "Oh yeah, we have to give to everybody free health care, yada yada yada." You, you know, like like um, what's the name? Um, should I forget his name? The old guy, Bernie Sanders. Yeah, Bernie Sanders. Almost forgot about him. <laughs> That's how much I care. I almost forgot about him, Mister Bernie Sanders. Uh, these people don't care. They live a rich lifestyle, but you know they never do anything like help the homeless. They never talk about oh let's help the homeless. Let's do this. Let's do that. They never reach into their own pockets and actually help people. You know, like like real like how real millionaires do. I know I know real millionaires that actually help people for real. Okay. But anyways, um, this is it. Look, don't. <laughs> Don't look up to these people. Never, ever, ever look up to these people. Let's just couple of takeaways. Isn't the get isn't the Med Gaia Gala exactly where one should wear this dress? ALC look great. How is this a <laughs> idiot? As they say, inside every socialist is a great capitalist. <laughs> it says, I like the message where you hang out with billionaires. Yeah. See, if you really care about people, you will be hanging out in, in like, you know, homeless shelters, giving out to people that actually need help. OK, if finding a way to make housing affordable instead of increasing the prices like crazy, especially in New York and California, where poverty is rampant. Oh, my goodness. California is a dumpster. It's a freaking dump. California said I went to California twice. I never want to go back. There's so many homeless people over there. Anyways, I keep ranting on. Uh, so AOC is a low, is low IQ, you know, very hypocritical. Barry is just, I don't understand how these people get in office. But also the, the fact that she's in office, that, that, she, that she's a congresswoman, also shows the intelligence of, of the people that actually elected her. You know, people both strictly on emotions, no logic whatsoever. This is Andy Society. Make sure to like the video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll be making more videos. Peace.